Djokovic to serve. Behind the court, take a seat, please. Fifteen. When we talk about different tactics and strategies that can be employed against Roger Federer, remember, it's still going to be very difficult. I mean, going out to his forehand, trying to attack more, go to the net more. I mean, Roger has counters for everything you try against him. He can counter with defense. He can counter with offensive swing shots and angles, topspin, drives. Thirty, love. Thirty, love. Good start. First two points on Djokovic's serve. like right away he's going after the Roger Federer forehand on the serve. That serve going out wide is 100 miles an hour. Roger not timing the shots well right now. First serve. It's going to take a little while for the, them to find their timing. Remember they had Friday off because of the rain delay. Yesterday didn't play. And now, you know, a couple days off when you've been into a rhythm. Hey, well, you want a day off for First sure, day. but uh, you think it's, it sounds like you're suggesting that the two days off caused by the rain delay works against rather than for even at the end of a long, hard tournament like the U.S. Open? Well, I, I don't want to say it works against you, but I think it throws your timing off a little bit. I mean, I, I, I don't remember the last time I've seen Roger Federer kind of club brick you know, just miss hit three forehand returns in a row mm -hmm. the way he did. And I'm not saying this is going to be a long-term effect on this match, but it's interesting how as we start things going, you know, start things off here, what are the elements? What are the situations over the last couple days? How is this going to play a, far, a part of the time? Ah! Modern tennis, your one two combination, big serve, big forehand. I like the way Djokovic is showing a lot of intensity with his body language right now. Staying on his toes, looking light, looking alert. Long. 13. Pretty love. And not to mention all the, you know, we had President Clinton down here. There's a lot of dignitaries that go around in the, you know, in the players' areas that kind of throw off For normal sure. routine. Exactly. Yeah. Security. Arthur yeah. Arthur Ashe was honored uh, today into the U.S. Uh, Court of Champions, as they call it. <laughs> other uh, great contributors and winners of the U.S. Open and other accomplishments are inducted into that, kind of like a Hall of Fame here in the U.S. Uh, for the U.S. Open. And uh, former President Bill Clinton was asked to make the remarks about uh, Arthur's career and contributions to humanitarian needs, and as he did so well during his career before his untimely death. So, yeah, there was uh, obviously with the former president, lots of extra security and so on. Felt Secret Gate, Service, Gate, whenever you're around former presidents and, and things, always gave you a little bit more of an edge. One game on. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> and so, you know, I, I I can imagine being a player, even though with Roger and, and the crew around, they've had so many big-time experiences, you know, it's still different.
Love 15, Djokovic. Second service game. Just about dividing the court now, so the lights can be a little, a little different for them for the next few minutes. Won't take too much longer for it. First serve. And totally in shadow. It'll be easier for them to see the ball. First serve. Forehand on the short ball, but that's it. Twenty-two year old Novak Djokovic, thirteen career titles already, including one Grand Slam at the Australian Open. Forty, fifty. And an ace for Djokovic for the match. By either player. Djokovic, 2-1, we're on serve here early in the first set. The top tennis player in the world, Roger Federer, in Basel, Switzerland. Serving now at 1-2. Was there any cause for concern uh, in your view and the Federer family and camp, uh, the somewhat difficult match against Robin Sutterling when he had two, uh, two easy sets and then had to go two tie breaks? Absolutely not. I, I think this was like Djokovic had with Jesse Witt and kind of a wake-up call. Yeah. Okay, let's get serious. You know, that don't let your opponent back in the match feeling confident. He just has weight. He just, the experience oozes out of the guy. He can handle every situation. And to play against him, you have to play the level of tennis. because it forces the modern day player today to move up into the court. That's a shot, McEnroe, Connors, the old school guys that did serve in volley that moved forward. This was a natural progression of an approach shot, not the modern guy today who stands behind the baseline. You move them up, it's a slow ball with spin, it stays low, and they miss so many of those. Mm -hmm. Well, we see lots of that for sure. He's, he's got a terrific uh, backhand slice. To me, that was the big difference going into the French championships, his use of the drop shot and the use of the slice back and the neutralize. And the change, the pace, and the dynamic of the rally with the slice was the big difference maker. 40 15 and a good serve down the tee. Uh, leaning, and so the hole, or even at the first two wall on the first. But I think I want to go back to the, and this is a very important point. When you play Roger Federer, your level has to lift. You have to raise the level of intensity and pace and precision that you don't have to use against anybody else on the planet. So all of a sudden, you're playing a game that you're not even, can't even practice because oh. no one can, 
no one can lift your level. You can't, and anything close to that blows people out 0 0, 0 1. Just to stay with Roger. And to make my point, look at the body language during the rally between Federer and Djokovic. Djokovic is, you know, small steps, he's really intense, you know what I mean? A, a lot of movement. Roger's very smooth. You know, he's just making you move all over the place, totally in command and control. Love 15 start to this game on Djokovic's serve. 15. Good serve there, gets it back. 15 all. He just doesn't let you up off the mat, Federer. He just rarely gives you just free points, get you any type of momentum. You have to earn it. You've got to play big. Here for Federer. And sends Djokovic to the towel. Two extra bounces on this point. And the second serve for Federer to look at here. points for Federer. What a beautiful athletic move for Ooh. Roger Federer to get up to that drop shot and then having a really reverse course here, get back for this very difficult over. He doesn't get enough racket on the ball, but just enough. And Novak misses the backhand down the line. Setting up that shot. That one two combo. He talked about Luke and perfectly executed Deuce. by Djokovic to get to Deuce. Breaking out two break points. Well done. Same idea the other way. What's that again? The, the combination of the modern game, big serve, big forehand. I love the slice serve. I love how it opens up real estate on the other side of the court to hit that big second shot. Djokovic climbs out of a little trouble. Goes up 3-2 here three in the first. This is Djokovic was challenging the call on the right far sideline. Always called in. Shadows almost now across the court surface. First challenge. Second serve. Oh, just out. Fifteen. Which completely missed hit the second serve.
Mr. Djokovic, Djokovic is challenging, is challenging the call that, this was very close on the left also. far sideline. Ball is called out. It's a defensive shot. They did tag the line. Federer did not strike the ball because just as he was about replay to make a swing, the out call came from the lines person, so they'll replay the point. Federer. 15-30. A little chance here for Djokovic. 15, 30. It's a nice little play from Djokovic, not overplaying any shot, not feeling the pressure. 15, After being down break point on his own serve, he's been able to really rally and get himself this opportunity. Two break points for him. Better had two in the previous game. Failed to convert. And second serve. Attempted a serve and volley there. Already, show, already showing variety in his attack, Roger Federer. And Djokovic gets the break. Four games to two here in the first Djokovic set. Leads. Four games to two. First set. Federer looks like he's going to change rackets. Is he on course here? Six games played. Is that the number, or is it perhaps he break a string there? No, he, basically he's not feeling comfortable with the the racket he has. And so, but what you're going to see is basically after this game they're going to change the new balls. Usually seven and nine, every seven and nine games. First seven, then nine after that. But he is not feeling comfortable with the consistency coming off of his racket. Love 15. And that's always a good play. If you feel just just a little bit off, just a fraction off, it's always good to go to a, a new stick, something different, a change. We've seen it throughout this tournament, the, the shirts. <laughs> right. Right? Yes, yeah, so do you think he changed the tension, though, or did he just change the same tension, just a different racket? That's a very good question. These guys bring out seven to nine, sometimes more rackets, different tensions all mm -hmm. the way through to be prepared for the changing conditions. points at two all and fail to do so. Fail to get that break on that game. Let's see what happens here. Oh, too much there from Djokovic. And now three break points. And this is where the lack of absolute pure power hurts Djokovic that he doesn't have the 135 he doesn't have the you know the serve that can hit aces and unreturnables and get get weak replies from the returner because he has to work so hard for every point we saw it in the Nadal match Del Potro just basically served him off mm. the court when he needed big serves he got it you know that's a 120 mile an hour serve it's nice 
but it's not a, you know, it's not a flamethrower. Oh, that's a tight, tight serve. Yeah, that double, and that cost him the break. So back on serve. Better will serve at 3-4. Just uh, fans on the right-hand side of the stadium, as you see the cameras uh, in the in the sun. Soul over there and somber on the other side. It's amazing the tide moving back and forth between the two players. 15. Djokovic surviving some break points and then breaking Feder and Feder coming right back with a, with a break game. And now Djokovic seems to be off target. Given that this service game, it looked to me like Roger kind of picked up the tempo a little bit. Mm -hmm. Second service. Forehand by Federer. Comes up with a big serve. Very common occurrence. He's made a bad play. Thirty all. Another big serve, this one down the tee. When you look at his game, 131 miles an hour in that last one, normally he's in the mid-120s. He's amped up. I mean, you can really tell, you, you mentioned it, how the change of tempo, he's really upped his intensity, and it's coming out in the in his serving. Look at that. Ace down the middle and just sails through the rest of the game after dropping the one point. And then giving uh, Djokovic a Another little hope when he got to 30. Just, he just puts his foot on the accelerator and shuts you down. Four all. On serve, a break apiece in the first set. Sure, he settles the ship. Thirteen. Well, the first time he's come forward in that situation, Roger must have taken a peek because he made a bad shot long, distracted. So that turned out to be a good move. We saw disgusted Djokovic after the last game. Slamming the jacket down and they got back to the chair. Dirty love, Djokovic. Oh, that's just pro pace right there. And it's the the placement off of the forehand side. Cross court to the sideline. Just looking so relaxed and cool, but inside the fire just burns with better. See, you see he's taking a deep breath, and one thing with Djokovic, he does have breathing issues. I believe, he's never said this, it's exercise-induced asthma. So when things start to get nerved, you know, the intensity. Dr. Jensen. Yeah. Maybe a good call. 
<laughs> the anxiety, because he can go five sets. He can, he, fitness is unbelievable, but when he starts to get a little anxious, shortness of breath, you can see his shoulders start to get a little tense. Two break points for Federer. And there it is. Oh no, that one's long. Kind of a loose forehand. He was trying to run around the backhand, but he got there too late. Right. And let me correct. They're not break points. It's 40 30. Djokovic at 40 30. Distracted myself looking at that replay of to see what you were, what you were seeing of, uh, of Djokovic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, that's a good point. I mean, if you know people who have it, I mean, you know the signs. Game. There's the game. So Roger Long and Djokovic. It's a 5-4 in the first set. Break a piece. So we're on serve here. And Federer serving to stay in the first set. Oh, stretch return by Djokovic on a good serve. And he caught the top of the net. Gets the point. 15. Better it comes in, puts that away to 15 all. I just love the way he closed in on that. It's a great lesson for all club players and junior players that let that floater kind of sit and come back down and let your opponent play good, solid defense. When that ball floats, come in and knock it off. I don't care how confident you are or not very confident with that, that volley of yours, take it out of the air, finish off the point. 30, 50. Devastating serving down the tee, mixing it up. But when he comes down the tee, he's been hitting service winners. Whoa! Ace down there earlier. Ace of the match. Djokovic has two in this first set. Post call at the end line. Roger gives it a pretty quick look, but that's a lay. Thirty all. Djokovic. Two points from the first set. Roger has the service. Just That's missed. a close call, and he's challenging Mr. Djokovic it. is challenging the call on the left far sideline. Ball is called out. And I like this challenge because you've got a cup, you've got three challenges, and it's 30 all. You get this challenge, you get set point. <laughs> 40, 30. Mr. Djokovic has two fuzz. challenges for me. You're not serving, you know, you can't you don't get to choose the ball you want. That's right. <laughs> Five in the first set. Five games off. First set. by Djokovic on footing Federer for good service. Comes in behind the short reply. Puts that away nicely. 30, 
luck. Errors. Especially at this time. You know, you have so many opportunities here in crunch time. You have to really tighten up that shit. There's that approach yeah. shot. Remember, we've seen a couple of them now. 30 on. He came right in behind that. That's a, a Todd Martin approved play. But it, you, know, you have to remember now, they haven't worked together that long. And so you have to know your player. You have to know what they can and can't do. And yes, it's the right play, but can he execute it with mm -hmm. confidence? Pretty all. in the air look at he's in the air look at see how he's left the ground and he had to to get himself in position he's off the ground as he's hitting the ball and he makes it look so beautiful remember now most guys plant hit and then they leave the ground amazing what he can do break point for six five let's see what Djokovic can come up with here Second serve. Better oh. uh, have himself. Sail the backhand long back to Deuce. That's when he loves to make his break and he does it so often where he winds up serving for the set. Chance there, Deuce. Uh, again, backhand missed a little too anxious to get the great point again. Game point, Djokovic for six five. He misses back to Deuce. Do you remember I told you at the start, the start of this match, the backhand down the line for Djokovic, and there's Todd Martin right there. And I love a coach that takes notes, charts matches. It drives me crazy when I see these high-priced coaches and they're just watching. I mean, man, <laughs> I'm not paying you to cheerlead, man. I give, I need nuggets. I need information. It's so important to look for patterns of play. That's why you watch so much film, and that's why you go to so many practices. Oh. I mean, so many times he called. Djokovic didn't realize. Yes, sir. Now he's going to want to challenge that, I assume. I challenge. I like I challenge. Mr. Djokovic is challenging the call right near sideline. Ball was called out. So he's asking for the point because it really should be a point. Roger got a racket on it. But Roger really didn't have a play on it. Norm Christ in the chair. Djokovic, uh, the, the 
obvious complaint would be my I serve was good. I didn't have a chance to get it back. My serve was a winner. I thought he had a chance to get it back. Not what I remember. I thought he had a play. Uh, I what think, he, yeah, go ahead, Tim. Well, no, I'm just, I, I hear what Mark Pitts is saying. I thought he had a chance to make a return here, to make a shot. And here's another look at the play. It has to come down to the, to the lines person, the lines judge, you know, that he didn't have a play on that. He, you know, he made his play. He couldn't get to it. Yeah, I, I, I would, that, in my judgment, should be Djokovic's uh, I agree. Point. Hey, but remember, it's not against, you know, Roger Federer. He didn't no, no, do anything no. wrong. Yeah. No, 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 not at all. It's, he's got to play the ball. That's exactly. what he should do. But he doesn't have to give the point. It's not bad sportsmanship. No, no. Not quite yeah. right. No, no, that's not the issue. I just think the uh, chair umpire, Norm Christ, uh, made a, a bad judgment call there. It's a huge point for that deuce again here, five all. called out. Remember, if he's right here, he gets a break point. Actually, no, they'll play no, a let. They'll have, play let because he had a the point. play on it. Yeah. yeah. That's out, yeah. Yeah, that was well out. Advantage Djokovic. So game point Mr. for 6-5. Two challenges remain. of this and I've seen some amazing shots from the man from Good Switzerland shooting. look at this this is not a oh that's right over the top that's a beautiful angle too that a camera angle I think he actually came around it yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean that's legal too yeah yeah absolutely I mean he didn't have to get it over the top of the net that's like a Tiger Woods uh, you know through the trees find, <laughs> he had something out of the trees and getting it within a foot of the Ball and a tough shot in the golf course. Well, this hit by Federer. Again, another game point, Djokovic. Advantage, Djokovic. This is a tension filled game here at five all in the first. Have become such good friends and they text each other and they follow each other's matches and tournaments. <laughs> it's just great. <coughs> nice ball and nicely done by Djokovic. Yeah, Djokovic. Tough hold for the Serbian. He pulls it off. He's up 6 5 in the first set. Federer now serving to force a tie break in the first set. And that's a good forehand from Djokovic drawing the air. 15. Well, if I'm Djokovic, I start really opening up some offense right now because I have the lead here in the first set. The worst case scenario here is if I lose the game, I go into a tiebreaker. That's a good look, though. Good rip on that. He it makes that shot. He's love 30. You have to take a look at the situation and play it accordingly. Here you have the advantage. Go after your opponent, Roger Federer. Serve and a nice return. But he couldn't recover to make the forehand. 
30-15. Oh, man, that was killer. Beautiful serve down the tee. No hesitation 40, to 15. jump on the reply. Big forehand winner. 15. Blink of an eye. Game point for the tie break. Oh. Here we go. Tie break. Opening set. Six games off for set tie break. Now this is going to be very important because I, I want everyone to remember is your mentality is you've got a really good look at what your opponent's doing. You pick out a few plays that's worked, you know, going out to his forehand, going out to his backhand, drawing him into the net, and then play to win. That's your mentality, your, your overall view of the whole deal. So I love Roger Federer's on his toes, ready to attack. Djokovic will have one service point, then two to Federer. They rotate the rest of the way. First to seven, that's win by two. Good serve. Federer gets command. Has the mini break already. One, zero, Federer. Next two service points to Federer. that over after a good effort from Djokovic just to get his racket on the previous shot. Two, zero, Federer. Federer 23 and 8 in tie breaks this year. Djokovic 16 and 12. Go, 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 go. Two, zero. One. Back on serve in the tie break, and the next two service points belong to Novak Djokovic. here starting to get a little windy down on the court and one thing about this big bowl this huge stadium it swirls down there and that can affect especially with volleys and second serves precise shots see there's another mid-court shot this time off the backhand side where the modern player who can hit ground strokes from behind the baseline does not feel comfortable moving forward here because he doesn't really feel good moving forward to hit a volley. And they, they don't want to retreat, kind of stuck in no man's land. Three points to two, Federer. Six points. Federer will have one more service point from the far end of the court. Djokovic had the first break in this set to go up 4 2. Federer broke right back. There were no more breaks, but some close calls the rest of the way. 
some break points one and Djokovic made good on the only opportunity he had. Oh, that's just too good. Big serve, pulled him way wide, no chance to get back. Five, two, Five points better. to two. Two service points to Djokovic. Points to three. Federer. Six. Two serves come to him now. The next two points. He's got the set on his racket. The biggest thing is, is that the critical time Roger plays the right play of an 88 mile an hour second serve, he just tags a return for a winner. Sitter. Easy play for 7 3 in the tie break in the first set. Goes to the top seed. This, this number, and I know other commentators have talked about it, Federer reaching the semifinals for his 22nd successive Grand Slam event. 22 times in a row in Grand Slams to make the semis are better. I mean, it's even he, when it was brought to his attention, Federer said, you know, like, wow, that is pretty good. <laughs> I don't think he really realized it. Well, not to mention the depth of competition, but also not one of those tournaments to be sick to oh, yeah, you know, all kinds be, of have, a, have a bad day, sure. injured, anything. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, Djokovic will try to stop the express here and get Thirsty. himself back in the match. Down a set. Mr. Federer is challenging the call on the left center service line. Ball's called out. Both players have used the challenge system a lot in the last set. Oh, and they're on, yeah. And this one with good cause. First serve. Given the opportunity, he rips that one unreturnable. 40 15. Federer opening the second set. There's your first set summary. First serve percentage is down for Roger Federer. Only one ace, no double faults. Djokovic 61%. But the winners to unforced airs is key. 15 unforced airs is the big thing you want to circle there. For Djokovic and a lot of that came in the tiebreaker towards the end of the first set when he needed it most. He, remember, he was up a break early and just couldn't hold it. Broke to 4-2, Roger broke right back, 4-3. Oh. Well, 
now I think this is a, it's a this is a mental load for Djokovic too because we saw his reaction when he sat in his chair. You know, that was not positive energy we were looking at. That's the backhand down line I'd like to see. Not overplaying that approach shot. Just trying to get it nice and deep. Good footwork, good balance. Got that shot. I mean, he's got very good hands. He used to use it more frequently than he does now, and so that was a good play there. Federer couldn't get to it. Pretty love. Forty. game for Novak Djokovic to get even at one here on the second set. One game on second set. serve and what you're looking for from that love 30 hold is a well placed serve that can get you out of trouble get a quick point get your teeth right into this game so often you can do this slightest sign of trouble and he delivers the big serves 25 on that one two hits he's back at 30 all top players all the time when they need it it's the serve that really bails them out look at his motion very smooth nice toss Roger Federer looking like number one that kind of play, 2-1. Roger, Roger, that. That service. Roger coming in to take the short ball and Djokovic had a couple of those in the first set and played them successfully and we would assume uh, that makes Todd Martin happy. Let's see if he tries to attack a little more at least given the opportunities when he has them in the second set. Wide. The forehand has been a little crazy going out wide. 
he's moving to his right. Djokovic seems to be going for a little bit too much. And it just goes sailing on him. It's so important to play the right shot in the right place in the court. And when you're pulled off the court, you have to play a dis defensive high percentage shot. Stay in the point. 15, 30. Just a little, a little trivia here. We know that Roger Federer has won 15 slams, right? Right. How many slams has he played? Take the okay, 15 okay. number. Take the 15 number yep. and you know, kind of figure out the percentage. 45. Close. Played 40 grand slams. Thirty. Well, he played juniors. Well, no, again, that's, that doesn't count. But hey! <laughs> What about these little guys out here just scrapping? Well, I know, but I mean, that's... I just kidding. Yeah, but 40 slams, 15 wins. I mean, you know, those numbers are just... You know, Not to mention a, a final at Wimbledon. Three at the Challenger. French. Call on the near left Ball side. the Australian. Ball was called yeah. out. Well, yeah, and then you go to the semis. You know, yeah. Which, I mean, two in a row, as we say, was just mind-boggling. Consistency. That is out. 40, 30. 40, 30. 30. Two challenges remain. Game point for Djokovic. Even here, two all in the second set. Game, Djokovic. And he does. On serve in set two number two. Over. First set going second to a tie break, so there's not much to choose between these two in a very tightly, tensely played match. Well, who's going to blink first? Uh, it's kind of like a tug of war, and talk about so many stats. USOpen.org can really dig into the stats and see where they're making their mistakes and how fast they're hitting those serves and what's the average. And Tim just doesn't come up with 73% first serves in for Roger Federer this set. Just off the top of his head. <laughs> That's right. I sure don't. <laughs> now I rely on those wonder boys who keep all the stats and display them for you folks who've got a computer handy. And stay on top Djokovic of everything. Is as the match challenging is developed. call on the service line. Uh, Djokovic. Ball's called in. He's going to challenge this one. Second serve. Wow, that's a good eye. Second serve. Djokovic is winning the challenge department today. <laughs> He's been hot. 30 love anyway. An excellent return. Better put it in the wheelhouse and Novak made no mistake. Pasted that backhand back. 30 15. Misses that one and that irritates him because it's a good shot of it. Backhand service return. He likes that shot. Point for three two. There it is again. And again, that's a good return. 40, 30. to hit the winner, he cranks it right, almost unreturnable. Heritage, your dad's a soccer player that came from Poland to play in, in Denmark, and that's where Caroline was born. All tonight at nine o'clock Eastern time in the United States. Team 
of Djokovic. Short reply, put it away, and it cost him. 15. Look after his good serve. It's getting dicey because Roger looks more comfortable cruising around the baseline. Started out the match with a bunch of miss hits. like Djokovic is the one kind of searching for rhythm, searching for answers. Oh. I just love that slice backhand. Forces the opponent, in this case Djokovic, to hit up. Puts that ball up in the strike zone where Roger can tee off on it. Misses that forehand, but it's a great play. Shots from Federer. Djokovic for 40 15. Game, Djokovic. Bit of a walkabout by Federer in that game. Three games all. Three second all here on the second set. Similar looking uh, match in the second set as it was in the first at this point. Djokovic broke the 4-2. Federer broke right back. And they wound up in the tie break. Roger winning that seven points to three. Aerial view of this packed Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. Well done, Djokovic. Cross court, diving shot. Too tough for Federer. There's a great dipping passing shot right here. You have to use a lot of wrist on that top spin, low to high, brush up the back side of the ball. Love 30. And as usual, Roger in that situation comes up with a particularly good serve. Same scenario earlier in the set. Swing him out wide, the same serve. Oh, sailed it long. That was a bizarre shot selection right there because normally he likes to come over that ball. In these situations, it's one swing can make the difference. I truly believe he's better mentally than he has been the last couple of years. But he can be better. I mean, you see you know, Nadal do that today, and he got thumped. You know, you rarely see Federer get upset. Hit, I think, don't it was you? a real miss hit. Yeah, and, but it had so much top spin that it came down and hit the baseline. A lucky play for Roger oh, yeah. Federer there. And sometimes that's all what the top players need, the elite players. They create their own luck. Look at this. This is off the frame. <laughs> yeah, and knuckles in. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, but I'll keep the point. for 4-3 with a second serve. Oh, nice 
to Don Djokovic. The deuce. Deuce. Struck right to the line. Just to have the trust in your forehand to be able to go for that kind of shot over the high part of the net, pick it up right off the ground, and hit that winner. Turn. Deuce. It's a tough shot to return to 101 miles an hour. Djokovic stays down with it and then right at the last minute lifts his body up to the shot. Djokovic making Federer work on this is a long service game for Roger. He's got it. Now the difference, again. yeah, the difference between the, the previous forehanded deuce and this one is that this one he has to come up into the court around the service line and get the ball up and over the net and then back down. Notice that? See how the amount of top spin he puts on that ball to get that ball back down. Deuce. Yeah, and he assumes he hit that and hooked it a little. Deuce again. Longest service game that uh, Federer's had to endure here. Three all in the second. <laughs> well, good effort by Djokovic. But no reward. Mirka applauds the play of her husband. Advantage Federer. Beautiful little cut shot that Roger made there. Game point again for 4 3. Game. Better. Finally. Here from Djokovic and Federer will sit down with a 4-3 lead and a set in hand. And Federer kind of hooking that ball off the forehand. Djokovic. A good serve. Federer okay. just kind of blocked it back, and it was an easy shot for Djokovic to pound away. And he's quickly at 40 love. it away to stay in this game. Another difficult overhead. He had one of those in the first set where you have to back up and kind of back up to the left for the for the right hander and arch your back and snap your wrist at the end. Forty fifteen.
shot. You got it. Well, did they call it out? The call oh, on the right near side line. I think he made the call shot. out. Find out here. <laughs> Djokovic pleading. Yeah. Yeah, he got it. See, this is when I think he's at his very best. When he just kind of relaxes and plays the game. Doesn't to get too wrapped up into miss hits and, and bad calls. He had this great thing during the tournament with John McEnroe after mm -hmm. a match. And, you know, I mean, that's what people need to see. That's the kind of joy he needs to play with. so much pressure on himself. He just made a forehand error. No big deal. Make the adjustment, move to the next point. But he pulls that with his game. His game follows that, that anguish. You rarely know what Roger Federer is feeling, whether he's winning or losing. You just can't tell on his body language. you get is a Federer frown. A frown That's or about yeah. it. <laughs> 30 He'll love. get annoyed. Like he, he got annoyed with Soderling after a while. It's like not with Soderling the person, just with the match. Yeah. Let's get this thing over with. Now he's had to back up to the backhand side. 14. He's grabbing his chest again. You know what I mean? It just. Yeah, there's some. That's some definite heavy breathing going on there. Game. Yeah. See, look at that. Was weak. Yeah. There. He's, he is struggling physically now. Definitely. It's been long. Long games, several of them have been long games. The sets have been long by virtue of the fact that they look like they may be headed to another tie break. Trading games here through the second set on serve. Struggling. Djokovic wants these games short. Oh, well, sailed it long. You know, he needs to be saying to himself, you know what? The only difference in this match is four points in the tiebreak the first set. Otherwise, they're dead even. Absolutely. Yeah, but, he, but you don't get the sense that he's, you know, he, that he's telling himself that, that you know, I'm, I'm right here. Not like I've been getting whipped up on as happened to Nadal earlier by oh, geez, El absolutely, Potro. Yeah. I mean that was a completely different looking match. He's right here. He's up 30-15 in the game. Yeah. <laughs> backhand down the line. Roger loves to run around the backhand and hit that inside out forehand, but when you sneak one down the line, it forces him to go to the right and expose his backhand side. Well played by Djokovic. Took the short route there, nailed the corner, and holds for five all. Five games all. Second set. Difficult here. This off a miss it backhand return from Federer, and then 
Djokovic moves up into the court, adds a lot of topspin on that. You see the whip of the forehand. He nails that shot down the line for a winner. Nice job by Djokovic. Can't get that. Good play by both players. Better hits the last shot. Proving nod from Todd Martin. He liked the play by Djokovic in the point. Dean Love, second serve. in a row. Well, the only option one. Roger had was Two. right here, Adam. Three. We've got one more. Four. Five. Five. <laughs> that, one a, that one was a little higher. Well, yeah, I still, <laughs> if you've accomplished that much, uh, take it. Give it another shot. Absolutely. I got the crowd into it. One of the best exchanges of the tournament, right there, that sequence. Well, you can see where Todd Martin feels that Djokovic can accomplish more aggressive play around the net because he has such quick hands and he's such a good athlete. He doesn't want to turn into the foil here. Federer at 40 love for 6-5. Yes, it was close. Mr. Joker is challenging the call on the left baseline. The ball was called out. I love how they use the umpires as a reference. I think it's close. It's close. <laughs> Real how, close. That's how close it was, yeah. And now, of course, the <laughs> crowd is uh, giving that linesman a little grief. 15 game point for Federer. Game Federer. Slapped into the net by Djokovic and it's 6 5. Federer in the second set up the set. So it's, it's all on Djokovic to do what's required here. Please take a seat anywhere. Thank you. Good body serve. Good start. Number four seed, number four ranked player, Novak Djokovic of Serbia. Fifteen. Good forehand down the line from Federer. This set out right here. No breaks in this set. Uh, one good shot, couldn't make the next one. 
right there, too. And now dangerous waters for Djokovic. Just plays kind of a loose backhand pass there, sets up. It's sitting right in the strike zone, too. from a two-set lead. Got it. Right on the line. Set points. 15. Calmly just rips this forehand down the line. Of the entire set. out of two breakers. It's to Deuce. Challenge that left baseline ball was called out. Well, a whole bunch of challenges in the match. It's all, it almost seems as though they're getting more than, the, than right. the three. They're using them all up, so that's a potential of six in each set. Had been next run if we get to a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. One challenge remaining. So game point for the tiebreak. Like it was going way out. Yeah. Jokovic didn't even make a move on it. I mean, this is the, the modern string. You see it, the amount of top spin he puts on that? It's a string called uh, Luxlon. It's a polyester string that absolutely slingshots the ball with spin when you want to put it on. Well, we assume Djokovic knows about those strings. Oh, no, well, everybody's got them. I'm no, not sure yeah. why he didn't make a move for the ball. Yeah, it allowed for the fact it may drop in. That's in the corner. <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. We've seen Federer with a number of miss hits. This time the net cord, and it's going to weigh on Djokovic's mind. But if Federer doesn't run for this ball, if he doesn't make the effort, he doesn't get the point. See, would he try to be too cute? You notice how he looked like he was about to go cross court at the last second he tried to go down yep. the line? And he should have gone the other way. He had a better chance of getting it over. Now again. Federer. There's a set point.
turned that around completely. And has a two set to none lead. The Belgian King National. Special behind the players. Thank you. Billie Jean King National Tennis Center with Roger Federer up 7-6, 7-5, serving to start the third set. 6-26, New York time. Packed house, Arthur Ashe Stadium. Luke Jensen with Tim Ryan. been a very close match with Federer winning the deciding points, the difference makers. Chances, in your view, that uh, this is as tight a set as the two we we saw here, as opposed to uh, Djokovic, with the kind of negative attitude that we've seen, uh, just kind of going away a little more quickly. Well, in my opinion, Djokovic is so talented that 40, even though with his ups and downs and kind of his his temperament. And even though he's down two sets to love, his game is so good, his feet are so good, that he, I mean, sticking around seven, six, seven, five. Yeah. And according to him, he's playing, he's getting, you know, the worst luck in the world. He's praying the, the heavens above, please help me. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if he could just get down to playing tennis, to be discouraged when you know when Federer does things like that. Uh, you know, you make some good shots and suddenly bing he comes up with the winner that turns the game and goes to the chair one up and uh, but yeah I, I and I'm not suggesting that he that he you know he's gonna lose here you know one or two games. We saw Nadal try his best and, and still only won two games in each set. Here Djokovic has, has been in each of these two sets right to the bitter end of the set. So uh, just hoping that uh, he, he has that same kind of attitude. Chris Everett in attendance today. serve almost hit the backstop on the fly. Yeah, but see, there's the talent. You know what I mean? He's just kind of playing possum and what we call pseudo tanking. He's not completely tanking, but he's just kind of throwing out the effort. And if Roger's not, you know, really careful and doesn't really stick it to him, Djokovic is gonna hang around with some big shots and big serves. I, I actually believe that part of Federer's greatness is uh, his ruthlessness. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, he's uh, he's not going to be sympathetic. He's, he's going to try to play every point as well as he can, and that should result in victory for him. And that's the way he looks at it. He's such a thorough professional. There's no room for sympathy. You can say afterwards, "Sorry, you had a bad day."
line, good shot. Good job. It's good to see that. We're even at one, one third set. in the third set. Lights on at 6:30 here in New York City. Early in the third set, Roger Federer up two sets to love. Caroline Wozniacki, the ninth seed, eighth seed in the uh, women's draw, I should say, will be uh, taking on. Kim Kleisters, who's one of the great stories of the tournament for the championship, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, nice shot down the line. Vukovic. Well, just look at this forehand. It's a, a nice abbreviated swing, good contact. Very important to pick your target before you hit the return. Have a plan. Okay, now here we go. It's 30 all. It's one all in the third set. Federer kind of played a loose forehand volley. You now if you're Djokovic, hey, you, you got a sniff. You got an option right now. Four wild forehand's been just crazy the entire match. When he stretched out, and having to really lunge for that shot. And the one cross court, we've seen some amazing ones down the line. Mm -hmm. It's right. the cross court one that's kind of giving them problems. Main point for Federer. that game, two games to one in the third. Del Potro taking out Nadal, Federer going for six in a row. Every day there's been a story, been a bunch of other upsets of, you know, less major that were still interesting from a tennis point of view. Nice touch, too good. Djokovic to 15 love it there, so you see the number one going the distance to try to get to that ball. Andy Murray being upset by Chilich, another big deal, a number two seed. John Isner taking out Roddick. I mean, every day there was a story, a legitimate, interesting, exciting, sad, whatever story. It's amazing Got what it? can happen in two weeks yeah. at, at a major 30, 30 50. 50. It's always chilling for me the, the anniversary of 9 11 going over the tournament. You know, it's just. Especially being here in New York when you were, if you were here, you know, during that time. Oh. And there's Shokovic just hanging around. Well, that's a good thing. And gets the hold. So again, we're you know he's out to the same kind of start. Every set's been the same in a minute. Third set. And it's funny because I truly believe that the game is there. It's obvious. He's already won a major. 
the one thing that he doesn't have, and he hasn't recognized yet, is that his mental toughness has to be up there with the likes of Nadal and Federer. I think that's one thing that Roddick has started to mature on. Murray. And the help from the net board. And now they've got another kid looking to join the varsity locker room and this Del Potro who's in the finals in the men's draw waiting this winner. Sorry, a little reminder there for usopen.org, your exclusive online home for real-time scores and stats, video highlights, US Open merchandise, much more. The official tournament website is usopen.org. Wherever you are in the world, online, check it out. A lot of good overhead practice in this match. Well, I'll tell you, that was an opportunity right there. Surprising that he went for the lob. He's still kind of disgusted at himself, slapping his thigh, 15 all. I want to see energy. I want to see some pop from his feet, you know, from his attitude. Get in there, take some swings at Raj. You know, he just kind of. 30, 50. There's a good shot and a bad shot. Fifteen, a point from 3-2 for Federer in the third. Gabe Federer. And Federer leads his head after that. Two. Third set. Return into the net. Three games to two. No way he can get the crowd into it to support him. Uh, they're always eager to see more tennis. So if he gives them uh, some reason to back him, you know, they'll do it. Whether they're, even if they're Federer fans, they, the fans always want to hopefully see a five-sitter every, uh, five-sitter every match they go to at the U.S. Open. Well, see, he's the first one, you know, off the bench. He's the first one ready to strike, and this is where he's going to find another gear. This is usually the the, the part in each set where he kind of changes changes tactics and tries to really pull away from his opponent. Well, two sets he wasn't able to pull away. Only at the very end did he prevail, and maybe here in the third with the. And a dauber down attitude of Djokovic. Maybe he can open things up and make a run with it. Djokovic serving to even it at three. Oh! 13. The way Novak looks when he's sitting in his chair, it looks like it's just a duty that he's got to do. Right, you know? right. He's, he's going to work. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got to out there and finish the match, do his part, but there's not that sense that, you know, I'm gonna somehow go out and try and turn it around. We don't see that a sense, of, a sense of urgency, yeah. that he's down two sets to love in the semifinals of a major. I mean, there's no doubt he's up against it. Yeah, but we've seen some other guys who were underdogs. Sure. Sutterling being the, the most current best example, make a big fight of it. And, uh, you know, he, this is the number four in the world. So he owes it to himself. It's not just to the fans to uh, give himself the best chance. Well, Rogers conceding the point. Game point, three all. Hold and again, like the other two sets, he's, he's right here. All even at three, but down two sets. Well, I think if Roger ends up running the table here and winning in straights, he's going to go back in the locker room and kind of assess what's going on, and he's got to pick up his return game because Del Potro serves a lot bigger than Djokovic. 
you just don't want to get into a serving contest with, with a six foot six giant who's just kind of playing on cloud nine now after destroying Rafael Nadal. And remember, Del Portro went five sets in the semis of the French Open this year with Raj. Yeah, 13. Toughly played match. get it well okay he'll get it on the next point you can see when he's trying to shorten up things move a match along beautiful done the way he measured that saw where the baseline was look you'll look down here see that's how he's got to hit it. Doesn't want to run into a ball kit. <laughs> Jammed him with that serve. He's a yeah, behind him. Clinically good game. 4 3. Novak Djokovic serving at 3 4 in the third. short angle pulling Djokovic off the court to the forehand side and that's the wing especially cross court that's really giving him problems first break points of this set three of them uh, uh, oh sorry thank you boy I tell you I've been here too long today <laughs> Club 30 Shotgun. Yeah, well, that's your job. See, that's the attack that I'd love to see every once in a while from Federer just to surprise his opponent. Keep him honest. 91 mile an hour second serve. You've got the scoring advantage. You're up two sets to love in 4 3. What's wrong with the changeup? Now he loses the point. It creates doubt in the mind of Djokovic. Makes Djokovic think about that play in the future. 30 all. Well, so Djokovic, with a little help from Federer, gets out of that little situation to 30 all. to extend the match. Federer fans would like to have him do it in three. Oh, if you look at Djokovic, a little serve and volley at a pivotal time in the match where really his tennis life is just on the brink. He decides to serve and move forward. He gets the 
miss on the return, but still the thought to move forward. Oh, yeah. Exactly what Martin was looking for. Hands back to break point. An ill advised drop shot attempt. Second break point. Out of eight break point attempts. And that's that one slip two. Back to Deuce. Deuce. Djokovic has saved two of them. Good serve. Mr. Federer is challenging the call on the service line. The ball was called in. Well in. Advantage, Djokovic. Mr. Federer has two challenges remaining. Sets finds himself in the mix down near the bottom of the set. Overall, just hanging around. He is, his energy's better. He's hit a couple of big shots. He's gotten out of trouble, and now he's got a shot. He's just hanging around. Shot right there, forehand cross court. A lot of direction, a lot of pace. Serve down the tee. Shot looking down into the pit. This huge, magnificent stadium. The Djokovic is challenged in the service call. Ball is called in. Djokovic is, uh, this is the one category he's been winning in. Correct challenges. Let's see if he's got it again. And he does. Second serve. Boy, I tell you what, that's a pretty bad call when it's out that far. <laughs> The crowd getting on the lines, but Consistent on the two-hand backhand with the extra hand on the racket. Slide it right down the tee. That was it. The two break points for Djokovic. Well, that gets the crowd into it. More tennis. They want. Good effort by Djokovic to stay in the point, but that 
Overhead was an easy one for Federer. 30. Overhead practice once again. I think this is his fifth overhead to that side of the court. He's had to arch his back and get to it. The pace to do uh, <laughs> right. Djokovic. Not deliberately, and he knows it. But he knocks the forehand long to Deuce. for five, four to Federer. Two break points saved in this game. And Luke, even if somehow Djokovic won the set, he looked spent physically. I don't know that he'd be able to get through five sets. Five, four now. Roger Federer with the hold after staving off two breakers. Tire pressure. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, is it important? Hey, when you're playing for millions of dollars, it's important. It's the, I mean, the string tension. The strings is the most important aspect of the racket. It's the only thing that strikes the ball most of the time. And for professionals, yes. Uh, the amateur player uses the grip and the frame sometimes. Well, you pay for the whole racket. Might as well use right? it. Yeah. Yeah. My attitude. That's a great question. I'm all years doing this stuff. That's it. I'm a gear guy. I like all the. You're a gearhead. Yeah, I get totally. <laughs> Technique. <laughs> Strings, rackets, all that technology. And now, just like that, where Djokovic had some momentum, he's now in trouble. Well, Federer one game away from the final. By Djokovic. 30, and he extend things. He's at 30 15, 4 5 in the third. And two sets to love. for five all. Second serve. When you get into the net, most of the time it's because your lower body did not really explode up into the strike zone. Remember, the ball has to get up and over that net. You got to bring it back down with the top spin, especially on a spinny second serve with a lot of top.
pin on that from Federer, but still Djokovic was there, and you can see just the shrug of his head and shoulders there, wondering how he could possibly have missed that. Deuce, four five. Thank you. Federer's turn to make an easy shot. Look hard. Heading it. Main point again, Djokovic. Oh, good job by Djokovic. Fans will appreciate that. That's, that's big effort. Box gets some of them get to their feet. Well, they're urging him on right now, and the disgust and the kind of the, the negative attitude that we, he showed kind of in the beginning of this third set, end of the second set, is now gone. I mean, he really is feeling it right now. And Fetter does not want to get into a fourth. Just get off the court. No breaks in this third set. Roger had two break points at 4-3. Djokovic had two at 4-all. Neither was able to capitalize. Then only two breaks in the whole match. So Djokovic got to keep reminding himself that he each had one break back in the first set. And that's long from Federer. 15 all. 15. Well, if he wants to get out in three, he's just got to hold here. Put the pressure right back on Djokovic. Center service call. Ball is called out. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing how precise they are. I mean, this is down to the millimeter. That's good. And what's unique about this inside out forehand is he went for placement. He took a lot of pace off mm -hmm. of it. Martin Viner, Djokovic, uh, Novak Djokovic's coach. Marjan. Yep. And an ace from Federer, the 6-5. It comes down to this for Djokovic. He must hold here to force the tiebreak in the third. Federer 7-6, seven, 7-5. Seven, like to match that score. Not deal with a tie break. But after break, there's not been a break in the set by either player. What do you think happened in this set here? Here this is the game for Fed. I think so. You know what I was thinking the other night in the Sutterling match, that it was a night match and it got quite late, as you recall. Uh, I couldn't help but think that here's the new dad. Mom's there with the two babies, you know, back at the hotel. Yeah. And he's now got something else to think about, you know, like, boy, it's getting late. I, yeah. I better get home or, you know, I'm going to take some grief if I... <laughs> Does that really go into... I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It just occurred to me. I mean, I'm sure Mirka's saying, hey, that's your, your business life. You got to go right. do your job. <laughs> it, this is a new world for him, you know. And I, I it's just, working out well. It, I mean, <laughs> it, it did pass through my mind that it, he, when he lost the set, this utterly. 
but he was going to have to stay out there longer. Roger Federer, in command of the match, but Djokovic try to extend it here, force a tie break in the third. He has not been broken in this set. He's only been broken once in the match by Federer. Coming in. And the pass is perfect. You can hit that approach at it. it has to be deep. You can go to the forehand or backhand or down the middle to cut off the angle. But it has to be deep to set up your wall around the net to be able to just get out to the right or left to lunge to that next shot. Cases you just go to these guys, you know, come on, don't try that. But he not only hits it, he rips it for a passing shot winner. <laughs> I think even Roger was surprised that the ball had such a good trajectory and angle on it. Yeah. Because he was actually aiming for Djokovic, it wasn't going for the sideline. The crowd is on its feet. There's his dad on the left with a red Federer hat. Tony Godzik, his agent. The crowd is still buzzing about that one. They gave him a standing O. He'll drop the house right now if he can win this point. Nice. Run around and rip a forehand and then send this one to the finals. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. Roger Federer, the king, will go to the final in pursuit of his sixth consecutive U.S. Open championship. Djokovic with a smiling congratulations. Federer acknowledging the plaudits of the crowd here, appreciating the artistry of this great champion. You know, he only felt that it was last year in his fifth win 